In this video, I'm going to talk about solving systems of linear inequalities. Um, basically, what, how, you, how you solve a system of linear inequalities is you have to graph the system, and then your solution is going to be a shaded region. I'll show you what that is here in a minute. Okay, so here are my two inequalities. Okay, I'm going to graph this system of inequalities. So here are my two inequalities. Y is less than 1 half X minus 3 and y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two equations. The first thing I need to do is I need to graph them. Graph them as if they are normal equations. Okay, graph it as if it's y equals 1 half x minus 3 and also y equals negative x plus 2. Okay, graph it almost as if it's a regular equation. Now, one thing you've got to remember, though, is that when you graph inequalities, they're either going to be solid lines or dashed lines. In this case, the first one is going to be a dashed line. The first one is going to be a dashed line. The second one is going to be a solid line. Okay, just trying to keep track of that. Okay, and um, all right. Uh, so I will graph the first one. So negative 3 for my y-intercept right here, and then 1 half for my slope. So 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2. 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2. All right, so this is mine. Now, notice that this is a dotted line, so I'm just going to put dashes on all of my points right here. So that way, it looks more like a, there we go, there we go. So basically, I'm not including any points that are on that line. So any part of my solution is not going to be on that line. That's kind of what that dotted line means. All right, so next one, uh, y-intercept of 2 and a slope of negative 1. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Lots of guys put lots of points on here so we can see where our shaded regions are going to be at. Okay, and here's my solid line for this one. Now I'm also going to write the equations next to them. So this one is y equals negative x plus 2. And then this one down here, this one down here is y uh, that's not an equals up there. I'll change it here in a second. Y is uh, greater than or equal to negative X plus 2. So let me go back and change this one up here. It's not an equals. It is a... Le Whoa. Oh, it looks like I wrote down the wrong ones. Let me change that one more time. All right. Got to make sure I write down the right equations. All right. So this is the, the negative slope. So this is a greater than or equal to. And then this one down here is Y is less than 1 half x minus 3. There we go. So why we always do our mathematics with, uh, <laughs> with pencils. That way, if we make mistakes like that, we can always erase them. OK, anyway, um, moving on. Now, what we've created here is we have four different regions. I'm going to number these regions. This one right here is region 1. This one over here is region 2. This one down here is region 3. And this one over here is region 4. OK, now. One of those four regions is going to be the solution to this system of inequalities. So basically what's going to happen is I'm going to shade in one of those four regions, and all of my points that are in that region are going to be solutions to this system of inequalities. Okay. So now I just got to figure out where to shade. All right, so my version of doing this, now you can, you can plug in points if you want to. My version of doing this is simply just reading this to myself. The y's that are smaller than this line. So I'm going to go back over here. So the y's that are smaller than this line. Okay, so as I look at this line, the smaller y's are going to be down. So that means region 3 down here or region 4 over here. So notice I put dots in those regions. Okay. What that does, that tells me that I should shade in one of those two regions. Okay? Now, I, now you'll, you'll see why I do the dots here in a moment when I do the other equation. So let's look at this next one. Y's are greater than this line. So the, where are the y's greater? So if, as I look at this line, the greater y's are going to be above this line. They're going to be up here. So that includes this region here, number one, and this region over here, number four. Okay, now notice that... I have two dots right here in region 4. That is where both of my equations are going to graph. So what that means is that is that area is going to be my common solution. So what I'm going to do is I am going to shade in. I'm going to shade in this region right over here by the edge of my screen here, right there. That is my shaded area. There's my common solution already. And again, that bit, what that basically means is all of the points that are in that shaded area 
are going to be solutions to this system. So one more time, any points in here is going to be a solution to this system, is going to make both of those equations true. Okay, so that is how you represent the answer to this system. It's not going to be a number. It's not going to be a coordinate. It's not going to be anything like that. It has to be a picture and a shaded region because there's <laughs> there's many, many, many solutions. There's you can also argue that there's an infinite number of solutions within that shaded area right there. Okay. Anyway, that's just that's my first example of working with this. Now I'll do one more example. Give you give you uh, uh, something else to to look at. Okay, so I'm doing another example, but this one here looks a little bit different. Um, the first one just looks like a normal equation. The second one there, it, this one is a kind of a reminder on how to graph horizontal and vertical lines. This one here is actually going to be a horizontal horizontal line, and that's going to be at negative 1. So actually, I'm going to graph that one first since I'm talking about it. Okay, so over here, right here is where my horizontal line is at. It's right there at negative 1. Oh, crud, is that supposed to be? Okay, it is supposed to be a solid line. The or equal to tells you that we include points on that line, and so we'd use a solid line for this one. Um, now, this top one here is going to be a dotted line. Um, the, the graph of that is going to be plus 2 for my y-intercept, negative 3 for my slopes, so 1, 2, 3, 1. Right there, 1, 2, 3, 1. One, two, three, one. And that one's going to go off, so I go dotted line here, do a dotted line in the middle. There we go. So this one is y is less than negative 3x plus 2. And then this line here is y's are greater than or equal to negative 1. Okay, so now i got to figure out where to shade. So i got my four regions. We'll call this one, we'll call this region 1, call this region 2, call this one over here region 3, call this one region 4. Okay, so what we'll do here is figure out where to shade. Now, for this first one, y's that are smaller than the line, y's that are less than. So if I look at this line, the less thans, the y's that are smaller are going to be down, which means down from this line is going to be region 1, or down from this line is also going to be region 4. Okay, so either one of those regions is going to be my, in my solution. And now over to this one here, y's are greater than or equal to negative 1. So the y's that are greater, so as I look at this line, the y's that are greater are going to be up. So that's going to include region 1 here, and it's going to include region 2 over here. Now, notice that region 1 has two solutions to it. Okay, Region 1 has two dots that go with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in this entire region. I'm going to shade in this entire region right here. There we go. Now, make sure you get real close to both of the lines right there. And again, remember to use pencil while doing this, because if you make a mistake, you want to be able to erase. If you use pen, it doesn't really work that, out that well. All right. And there's my solution region. And again, any point, any point in this region right here is going to be a solution to both of those inequalities. All right. Uh, that's just a couple of examples of how to solve systems of linear inequalities.